So there's been a lot of speculation on the mainland about what goes on here. You're depicted as some kind of a cult. Claims of human right abuses, and your media is being censored pretty aggressively. Well, that's why you're here. This island wasn't created to escape the world. It was created to set an example, to change the world, show what's actually possible if humankind decided to work together. So where would you like to start? I guess technicals. How are you powering this place? Mixed renewable integration. The island's core baseload systems are solar, wind, and ocean. While localized kinetic energy capture, mixed-use reuse mechanisms are designed into most everything. Like footsteps? Footsteps, vehicle motion, pipe flows, anything that moves, we recapture. We're at about 5,000% efficiency. More energy than we know what to do with. That's insane. Not really. The Earth is, in effect, a perpetual motion machine. You people on the mainland could easily do the same thing. But your economic system simply isn't conducive to integrative design. Speaking of which, let's head to the development center around the corner. Okay. This is one of our design facilities. Okay. Like an office. So these people are employed. Employed? I suppose in the most technical sense of the word, sure. But we have no systemic slavery here. No one's coerced to submit for their basic survival. Something I suspect might be very foreign to you. Everyone needs to do something, right? So how do you network skills, organize trade, markets? There is no trade. There are no markets. There is no currency. Those who wish to contribute do so through collaborative design in an open source environment. What you think of as industries of production on the mainland is unified here. Wait, I don't understand. These people are not paid to be here? Are they motivated? Well, how is anyone motivated? Do you need to get paid to get out of bed in the morning? Do you need to be paid to ensure your own health, the health of your family and friends? Paid to show stewardship for the habitat and society that supports you? What about innovation? Innovation to what end? To create something to improve life and experience? Or to create something to sell? If you think about it, it has been the blind economic drive toward innovation as you know it that continues to lead your society to destruction. Okay then, so once these people have designed something, then what? If a design meets proper criteria in terms of efficiency and sustainability protocols, it is then accessible by our mostly additive manufacturing system. Additive? 3D printers? which have been perfected to a degree where modular arrays can produce most anything conceived of with traditional materials. And by the way, there's no waste here. Our AI design filters won't allow production of any item that isn't 100% regenerative. Sorry, I'm speechless. If what you say is true, you've actually done it. Done what? You've created utopia. <laughs> if you want to sound like an idiot, Sure. This isn't utopia, friend. It's simply pragmatic design. Come, let me now show you our democratic system. How we use direct democracy to eliminate politicians and control problems. What? No elections? No goons? God, no. Wow. So, so where do I sign up? I want to join your cult as soon as possible. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Please. I don't know if I can take much more. So I'm afraid we're going to have to wrap this up for now, but as, as we discussed, I will be back for the second part of this interview fairly soon, uh, specifically to discuss the colony of Concordia and their historical influence. Sure. So what's the name of the documentary? Interreflections. Interesting. But before we end, I, I had a rather strange request. If you could address those vulnerable or confused souls you know, before the Great Transition, given, as you put it earlier, we barely made it at all, what would you say to them? Wow, that is a strange request. Hmm. I think I would paraphrase the words of a notable civil rights activist from the mid-20th century named Bayard Rustin. And he said, You are all one. And if you don't know it, you're going to find out the hard way. <laughs>